foul is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New York Giants and the San Francisco 49ers. Kicker Graham Gano set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. Garoppolo to throw it. Open man is Juwan Jennings. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football. And, get and trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And the Giants are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. They go play action here on first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. Well, their defense got him the football with an interception. They trot out their Charles in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Man, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We got two, we got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Here we go, here we go. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, here we go, here we go. oh, he just snuck out there and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? They were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great effort there. 27 yards. And the Niners take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. 
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. A gain there of 21 yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. Now the stiff arm created some space initially, but he's taken down not long after. He was out there waving his arms, and when you get a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes with people trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Big play from a big man, Kayvon Thibodeau, off the edge and dropping him behind the line. Here we go. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Got his target, Samuel. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Here we go, here we go. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one yard line. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Heavy set out there on third and one. On the sneak is Garoppolo. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Garoppolo, quarterback sneak. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Well, you just totally get the sense there. 
that a field goal go. was not in the game plan at all. And the boys up front, they created the surge. I think they knew that they had the leverage advantage. Oh. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Now gold for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. On second down, here's Barkley. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They keep it with Barkley on first down. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. They'll run it again with Barkley. 67 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll try and run for it with Barkley, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. The quick slant caught, touchdown Giants! Darius Slayton from six yards away. And the Giants have got it back to within a score. Extra point try, good by Godot. And that'll make our score 14 to seven. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Garoppolo to his tight end, Kittle, for a Niner first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really... And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. 
The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. To try again after the sack. Garoppolo, a hit as he throws there, incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 48 yards. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Christian McCaffrey in the final seconds of the first half. And the 49ers would extend their lead here just before halftime. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 21 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. A pretty good looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards, just short of the line to gain. And this offense gonna elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. They'll keep it on the ground again here. There's a nice move. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. 102 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Oh, good move. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Now Jones. Has this complete to Daniel Bellinger. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A first down carry for Barkley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Throwing Jones. He'll get this one to Galladay. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. Touchdown. 
Kenny Galladay on the touchdown throw from Daniel Jones. And the Giants are back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Wait, wait, wait. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And he will finally be taken down at the Giants 17-yard line. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. They stay on the ground. And it's a fumble. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And this one will be brought back to the 22. So what a turnaround to begin this second half, a touchdown and then the fumble recovery in quick succession. It certainly feels like whatever was said in the half, it certainly struck the right chord because they've come out with a lot more fire here in this third quarter. Down two scores in the half. Now they're right back in this thing with a chance to capitalize right here. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. 146 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Throwing on second and three. Jones buying time to his left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley, and another first and ten here. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time. Is there... The Giants on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Gets it quickly to Galladay. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 27-yard line. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Operating from the gun. Jones eluding the pressure right and seeing no options he just tosses this one away incomplete now that'll bring up second down it sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone but this defense gets two more stops they can keep them out of that area 
down to the 25. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. That yeah, fourth quarter, maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say, consistently. Right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs. And the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Again, McCaffrey. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Oh, Brandon, I'm going to tell you, this is football time to me. They're inside the 10-yard line. That's like drawing the line in the sand. Who's going to make the stand here? here Defensive guys, they know if he gets in the end zone, this ball game is over. And the guys with the football right now, they're thinking, let's just pound it in there. Got to hold him to three to keep this a one-score game. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got it third and goal now as they look for that final touchdown to salt this one away. They'll try to run with Mitchell. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. On the sneak is Garoppolo. Try to wedge his way in there. No signal. I don't think he got there. He did it. They try the sneak, but not enough push. He doesn't get in. And this Giants defense able to come up with a goal line stand. Meanwhile, Jones throw taken in by Slayton. And he's got Rome. A big play there on the catch and run. 46 yards. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. And some room to maneuver. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley, 53 yards. And the Giants use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Gano the extra point. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. 
Well, they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so. And I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man. And <laughs> the <Jackson. laughs> the teammates are going to take possession of the football. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Good gain there on first down. That keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. Get him out of here. He about to quit like a bitch. Get him out of here. You was confident before till that shit got real on you.